So, hey guys, it's uh, Red Actual again. So, uh, today I was going to show, bring you a video with the DC9 because I thought, yes, I finally got it working, but apparently, no, I don't. Uh, it was glitching to only allow me to take 0% fuel. So, instead, because I really haven't got the time to do uh, the other, what, to fully replan and do this with the NGX, I've adjusted the flight plan in terms of fuel to accommodate a TriStar. And we're going to go from Miami to, uh, well, sorry, from Kingston, Jamaica to KMIA, Miami. So just pushed out. I started the engines uh, before I started the camera rolling. Purely be on the grounds that it is just so difficult to start them and it takes about half an hour. In terms of the navigation today, I'll be using the. Whoa! There we go. In terms of the navigation today, I'll be using. Um, the FSX built-in flight planner when if I fire up the INS which I have to do oh yeah <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly stick it into nav mode um, there we go that's the mode I wanted in and then you can go and uh, you can you can uh, uh, basically I'm going to use the uh, FSX default flight plan which is a bit of a cheat system to that, but I really haven't learned to use the INS system just yet. And it's something that's going to take me a while to learn because it's like an F... To, to describe it the way a friend of mine did, it's like an FMC, but it's just stupid. Instead of being able to say, right, I want to go to KMIA via this and this and this waypoint, you have to say, I want to go to latitude, 50 degrees north, whatever, how many degrees west it is. And all that good stuff. So today's flight, we're just going to take a TriStar and use the flight plan because it can look after me itself. Because I'm a silly pilot. Okay, next thing we can do is switch flight directors on. Both sides. Um, heading's going to be command. It's 360 is going to be our next turn on course. I believe it's roughly 120 for the departure heading. So I'll select that. Uh, I want to see, select my nav source. Try to have a look down here into that. It's going to be the FMC. Um, I'm also going to arm an altitude of um, 12,000 initially, which is what, actually what, I'll take 15,000 with this aircraft because it does move when you get it uh, going. We'll fly out to 5 DME and then we'll turn inbound onto the uh, FMS track. Is the sim just frozen? Sim just frozen. Oh, it booped me to have the field there map operational. I'm actually quite happy now. Um, navigation map. Oh, that's nice. So I've got that. It's Captain Sim, give me that. Shift 4, Shift 5, Shift 6, Shift 7. So, oops, Daisy. So I'm just going to shrink that a bit. And then, actually, that, look, that looks quite nice in terms of the video. If it works when it's shrunk. Oh, it does, actually. So, we haven't got the time to destination worked out because the aircraft doesn't actually know, I don't think it knows itself. But my, I am kind of in the middle of the Caribbean at the minute, so I did have options to go uh, all sorts of places. But I decided to just uh, go up to Miami, play it safe. Yep, Tagusi Paga. Oh, Tagusi Paga, I really want to go there, but I've actually managed to screw the approach of quite a few, into there quite a few times. Even taking like, the recommended lighter aircraft, like the 737-700 in place of some others. Yep, so it's 11.01 in the morning. And we've got 944 kilometres to go. We are going to move a flying Cuba for most of the flight, but I quite like flying on here. Ground speed 33 knots, or 33 kph, which is about 15 knots. To be honest, I'm not particularly keen to go bombing down the taxiway with this because I'm not familiar with the aircraft. If I was like an MRG Pro captain, I would go bombing down the taxiway, but not today. No, I'm just going to again. So, on the range of 30 miles, we've got no returns. I wouldn't, I didn't expect us to have returns in all fairness and squareness, but yeah. Could have gone to Caracas, maybe Panama City, but hell, we've, well, we've missed it now. 
I might go down to Cancun from Miami someday. 586 miles to go. It's a long way to Miami. It's a long way to go. Okay, transponder. That can come on now. That went during the backtrack. We can now also take our landing lights to on because we are pretty much entering the runway right now. Strobe light to on. Everything else. Uh, tax light can go off because we're pretend we're cleared. Logo lights can stay off, I suppose. I uh, kind of cycled it there, but no big deal. Continuous ignition comes off. Um, windshield heat comes on. Anti skid stays on. Comes and stays. Everything else is configured. Whoa! That was a bit of a veering off the, off the main taxi, taxi route. In case you're wondering what the white box is in the lower left corner, it is. I use I used an FSX CFG uh, thing to take out the um, to like, get rid of the brake notification, and then I got a bit annoyed because it seemed like one aircraft didn't have brakes, and I put it back in just now, so I was 100% sure that I had braking or not. I'm surprised there's taxiway, um, you know, zigzags like this on uh, Latin VFR scenery. I don't normally get that. Okay, that's for this one, we're one, two. So we're just going to turn ourselves in. We are moving at a little bit of speed. We're going to have to stick our nose into the runway, then turn left, hard left. Because then remember the nose wheel is behind us. So got a little bit of, it's a little bit like a triple seven this. Okay, I obviously did a little bit, but no big deal. Okay, let's go. I'm just gonna push the throttles fully forward. And we're rolling. We're rolling, rolling, rolling. And again, I'm fine with being to the right of certain line just as long as it doesn't get any worse than that. Okay, 140, 145, 150 aerotype. Rotate. A little bit harder to get off the runway to start off with. Kind of almost feels as if there's fly by wire trying to stop me from pulling up. And just rotating the nose up to hold this current airspeed. Climbing quite steeply. I'll take heading mode. I'll take IAS mode. And I'll take command A. We're just going to do a turn on course now, I suppose. Yeah, we have we are climbing quite steeply at the minute. We're climbing at about 3.2, yeah, 3,200 feet per minute. Almost a kilometre up already. Uh, yeah, we'll just stick it in this mode. And then, I can even stick nav mode on. And nav. Now, we can take VOR nav on this trip, uh, it's entirely plausible, I've got it wrong and I'm selected in VOR nav mode instead of FMS nav. 945 kilometers to go. As you can see, we are climbing really, really steeply. If you look down there on the left, you'll, well, when we roll out on present heading, you'll be able to see the uh, aerodrome. What's our altitude? We need an arm 15,000. I'm just conscious of that. Uh, all right, so it's going to stick to heading select mode initially, which I can't adjust. Is that what you're saying? I'm going to use Easy Dock to switch off my head bouncing around because it's annoying me already. Yeah, we are bombing it in the climb right now. I'm just going to pull my EPA rating back to 1.4 on all, all three sides, which should be about climb thrust. Just 
just being nice and gentle with the aircraft. There I go, that's nav mode. There's VOR mode, there's ILS mode. Okay, we'll, we'll pretend we've been cleared up to flight level 350, which is going to be our cruising altitude. Whoa, 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 350, which is our cruising altitude today. Because we aren't particularly heavily laden. Right, I'm just going to open up the taps again and just give it give it the beans, as they say. Actually, I'm going to get it to go into VS mode about a thousand feet per minute, then switch back to IAS when we accelerate to about 220, 230 knots, so then I can go flapless. Estimated arrivals now 1439. Look, because that's about two and a half hours from now. Accelerating rather rapidly. That's 210. 220. And we'll hit IAS mode now. Mark. Okay, that's just going to. Yeah, it's rotating the nose up so that it goes back to 180, I think. Hey, we can do 180 all the way up to cruise. That's absolutely fine by me. I'd prefer not to, but. Oh, headsets come off and coming off now. <laughs> Ground speed's already 281 miles an hour. We are absolutely bombing it. We're already at 9,500 feet. 10,000 already. We are really accelerating. We've got the DME2 picking up already as well, which means we've got two frequencies to go from, which is absolutely brilliant for now. I'm going to lift up to, whoa, not flapless. There we go. That's where we're going to go. And one lump of flap comes up, still giving us a decent climb rate, just lowering the aerodynamic drag on the airframe. We're got, well, not going to be going in RVS I suppose, but we will op I will probably cut the video past about 18,000. I want to hit transition, even though we are already pretty much at transition QNH. Alright, that's just caging there. I find it a lot easier to look at the standby in terms of this current situation. Actually, I'll probably cut the video past about 14,000 14, because we're reaching that now and there's really no point me running it any further than this. I quite like this though. This is the first time I've really used it properly during a flight. I'm going to use it a lot more during my live streams. The reason I'm not doing live streams at the minute is my laptop needs to be fixed. Once my laptop's fixed, I will do some more stuff like I normally do. But until then, I really can't. Because it just, it, you know, it makes my life incredibly difficult to try and do live streams with a basically a broken PC. Also actually two, we are 250 knots when we get up to altitude so I'll leave that like that. Anyway folks that's a little bit further than I said I would take it. So we're only flown 17 miles and we're already bombing it up through what 16.500 feet. And then again just going to go to VS mode. I'll do the acceleration to, to, to three, um, do the acceleration with you guys just to let you see that and then uh, we'll climb from two, uh, 250 knots from here. I'll just go flapless now actually, because then we're flapless by 250. Look at that, look at the amount of lift we lost doing that. And that's IAS. There we go, so that's IAS about 245 knots there. So again we're going to go bombing in the, up in the climb. Okay folks, so that really is it for me now. So we'll see you all tomorrow when we're approaching um, Miami in about an hour and a half. See you all then, folks. Bye-bye.